Welcome back to Live Young Diecast and the Holiday Mod Rod Charity Invitational Tournament. We invited five contenders to join us on the Deep Eddie Raceway. This event benefits Toys for Tots. Thanks to everyone who did their bidding on Redline Derby. We were able to raise $415. Thanks to all the Diecast racers who gave back. All right, our first matchup is Crazy Canuck versus Glitch. The next matchup will then be Lone Star versus Mr. Dark and his co-pilot, The Grinch. And the final matchup will be the Ford Vickies. That's Bay City Daryl and Bobby Helms. Bay City Diecast Racing and Rust Belt Diecast Racing. All right, let's get up to the top. It's Glitch on pole with the faster lap in the time trials. Crazy Canuck on the outside. And Glitch pulling away, putting a lot of distance between him and Crazy Canuck. All he has to do is finish smoothly. He does. Pulls down a 7.5433. Not a bad time at all. Glitch is driving Red Rider 57 Chevy, 42.6 grams for Flat Rabbit Racing Club. Nicely done. He will get the first win. And on to the second lap is Crazy Canuck on the inside. Glitch already pulling away, but they go neck and neck for a moment here. Glitch, the lead again. Crazy Canuck closing a little, but Glitch has this all day. A little slower time than the first lap, but nicely done from Glitch. He'll take the first two, and that is that. On to the second matchup. Lone Star and Mr. Dark with the Grinch. Sticking his head through the roof, trying to get a view of what's going on and help Mr. Dark get there. He's got a nice lead over Lone Star so far. Lone Star closing a little. Oh, and Mr. Dark goes over that head. The Grinch throws his weight into the turn and that'll send you over. Lone Star driving the Griswold 32 Ford delivery at 65.7 grams. Christmas tree on the roof, not taking him over this time, but he has gone over before. And there's Mr. Dark. The Grinch not helping him out this time. Luckily, Lone Star not decapitating the Grinch. This was a concern. That's some respectful sportsmanship right there. And Lone Star on the inside for the second lap. All he's got to do is take advantage. Oh, a little hang up. He can put this in the bag. And a nice overtake from Mr. Dark. He holds the line in the turn and he'll get it. And they are one to one. Mr. Dark comes through with a 7.6. Pretty good run. He's driving mean one. A Chevy Nomad, 53.5 grams from Dubious Diecast Racing. Nicely done in the turn. That's the way you want it. Lone Star trying to hang on to the tree a little slow. And that's a nice overtake from Mr. Dark here. The Grinch helping him out this time. We've got another lap for these two, the tiebreaker. One each from Lone Star and Mr. Dark. All right, we'll head back up top and Mr. Dark back on the inside with the Grinch co-pilot. A salute to Santa up there. Last time on the track, possibly one of these guys and on to becoming a Christmas tree ornament or a display. Oh, that is tight in the turn and the Grinch throws his weight in there again and goes over Lone Star this time unable to avoid him so much. Ah, drags him down the road a little bit. Luckily, luckily the Grinch hangs on tight and his head doesn't come off. You're going to need that because that thing is now a Christmas tree ornament. Years of love to that car are ahead in the holiday season. Lone Star will move on and Mr. Dark with the Grinch are overturned and they'll go home to a Christmas tree somewhere. All right, the final matchup is Bay City Daryl driving Angry Elf and Bobby Helms driving Jingle Bell Rock. Both of the 32 Ford Bickies. 
Fastest two laps in the time trials. Bobby Helms is ahead. Bay City Darrell is closing. He's closing tight. Oh, he's not going to get it. Bobby Helms will win lap one. He pulls a 7.455. Still not his fastest lap yet. That was done in time trials. 7.0251, I believe. Still the fastest lap so far. Bay City Darrell just unable to catch him here. He was closing in, really hit the gas. Nice little hop from Bobby Helms, driving Jingle Bell Rock. And lap two will have Bay City Darrell on the inside. Angry Elf. How angry is that elf gonna be if he doesn't win this? This is it, Bobby Helms can take it home. They are neck and neck. Bay City Darrell can come through. He falls behind a little. Bobby Helms is hanging on, and he's going to get it. The elf is angry, very angry. All right, Bobby Helms taking the second win, and he will advance to the three-lap, three-car group round for points. Bobby Helms nicely done from Rust Belt Diecast Racing. That bell does jingle. Congrats to the winners, everyone who bid on the cars and the items on Red Lion Derby. We've got some good stuff coming to you. So Crazy Canuck, Bay City Daryl, and Mr. Dark with the Grinch, they will go to their winners. They will be lovely Christmas displays and ornaments for years to come. And these three, Lone Star, Glitch, Bobby Helms, are in a three-car, three-lap group brown. This is gonna get tight. These guys have done really well. We're gonna crown a champion tonight. Holiday Mod Rod, Charity Invitational, benefiting Toys for Tots. The points will be five, three, and two for a finished position. Most points will be the winner. And the lap times from time trials, plus these points are gonna add up to be a individual donation from each driver, all six contenders. So they're contributed to the tally. And we're off for lap one. Bobby Helms out front. Surprise, surprise. Glitch following. Lone Star in the rear. And, and nice. Oh! That was going to be a smooth, easy win for Bobby Helms. And he gets squirrely on the jump. Goes off the track a little bit. Hits the rock. Hits the gate. Glitch hitches. Hits him. And this is... This is rough. That bell is dinging. I'd love to know what it sounds like inside that car. We're gonna try to get a freeze frame on this. Glitch makes contact. I think the laser hits both of them here. But we're still trying to see here if we get Bobby Helms spinning off of the off of the line and out of the laser. Because that's gonna put him off the finish line and let Glitch have this. So there's the freeze frame. I've seen. I'm seeing laser on the bumper of Bobby Helms and the headlights of Glitch. So that is a tie straight up. But then you see there, the laser moving off of Bobby Helms' Ford Vicky. So that's going to go to Glitch for the win there. But Bobby Helms is going to take second as he comes back over the line. And Lone Star, that's what happened to him, went over trying to hang on to that tree. All right, so Bobby Helms with three, Glitch with five and Lone Star with zero. Uh, they hang up in the gate, a little pause, and they're off together, and a tight pack, they're bunching up, and Lone Star comes through. I think Bobby Helms got a little squirrely. Lone Star is gonna take a win. That was unexpected. Let's go look at who came through here. They get really tied over the hump. Go into the new turn, they're really tight, and there it is, Bobby Helms getting a little squirrely going over the Vista jump, and that lets Lone Star get away. Because I think Bobby Helms could have gotten overtake somewhere between that point and the finish line. Bobby Helms will sit with five, Lone Star as well. Glitch will have eight. So this gets real tedious here. Bobby Helms and Lone Star, one of those two, is gonna race Glitch. Glitch, even if he comes in last, is going to earn two points, and that's gonna put him at 10. Bobby Helms and Lone Star can only get 10. So one of them is going to race 
sudden death with Glitch. Who's it gonna be? Who's Glitch want? They're off, and this is it. Bobby Helms in the lead. Taking advantage, he's pulling away. He spins out, is he gonna lose it? No, he'll get it. Lone Star flies in. Going after that opportunity, he won't get it. He'll come in second. And that is gonna be Bobby Helms taking on Glitch for sudden death and the championship. Bobby Helms just really giving it everything he can. Almost too much speed. He gets a little squirrely and spins out there. Almost lost this to Lone Star who was blazing through, gunning for that chance. So those two duke it out and it will be Bobby Helms that moves on with Glitch to sudden death. One of these two gets a billboard on the track for the Holiday Mod Rod Tournament Championship. This is it. First lap of potentially three. Bobby Helms out front. Comes in from the inside. A little squirrely again on that jump, but he hangs on to it. He will take lap one. Nicely done. Glitch came in late, but close. 7.41. 10 from Bobby Helms. Still not his fastest lap. That time trial lap was a laser. So he's hanging on to the track record right now. Bobby Helms with the first, potentially three. And this is it. If Bobby can take it, if Glitch can take it, we go to a third. Glitch on the inside. Flat Rabbit Racing Club, their first time back since the DIRS. Same with Bobby Helms, AKA Josh Poffler. He's ahead, hangs on to the Vista and Glitch is closing fast. Oh, another opportunity for Glitch to pass and he gets bumped out by Bobby Helms. They are neck and neck through the first straight. They come neck and neck through the turn. Bobby Helms gets away, Glitch closes, goes for the inside on that pass. Opportunity, can't get it, goes again and Bobby Helms pushes him out. Phenomenal handling from Bobby Helms. Just edges glitch out three times over the course. And he will take the win. Bobby Helms gets the first two. That is your Holiday Mod Rod champion for Rust Belt Diecast Racing, driving Jingle Bell Rock. A fantastic build. Very fast. Well done, sir. Thanks so much for building the 2022 Diecast Racing Calendar. I know some of you have scored that with a donation, so thank you very much. Whole lot of numbers here, essentially time trials plus head-to-head -head matchups, the group round points, all of it's essentially equal donation amounts for each driver. And we appreciate that greatly. Again, we raised $415 for Toys for Tots. Pretty great. So thanks so much for your support and participation in this. It means a lot to these kids. Congrats again to Bobby Helms from Rust Belt Diecast Racing, your 2021 Holiday Mod Rod Charity Tournament Champ. We wish you a safe and happy holidays. We'll see you in the new year for the Diecast Euro Cup. And y'all remember to live young, Diecast.